This paint chip here might look white to you. We're going to do a little experiment. So if I take this white chip and I draw it back towards my white shirt, you're going to see that this chip itself actually has some color in it. It's more of an off-white than it is a true white. Our goal here with this episode is to give you an opportunity to become experts in selecting the best white for your project. Hi, my name is Caitlin. And I'm Jeff. And we work with Amsbury's Painting. We have been serving the greater Seattle area and the east side for over 45 years. And Paint Talk is a series of videos that we're making to answer paint related questions so that we can just create kind of greater education about the painting world. So if you have any topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, go ahead and comment below and we will get to those later on. So today, like we said, we're talking about how to choose the best white color for your house. So some things that are good questions to ask yourself when you're narrowing down your white selections are, first of all, what kind of white are you leaning towards? What are you hoping to get out of the white color? Are you wanting a basic piece of paper white? Are you wanting a cream? Are you wanting an off-white? Those are good questions that will help you narrow down your options. Another thing to think about is what is surrounding the area that you're wanting to paint white. So if you are trying to pick a white color for your exterior trim, then something to think about is what color is my house body color or the main mm -hmm. house color? Because you want to choose a color that's going to, a trim color that's white that will complement your body color. Another thing with an exterior to think to consider is if you have any brick or stone on your exterior, what color your front door is, or if you have a bunch of foliage um, and landscaping around your exterior, what color that is. And something else to think about is what, if you've narrowed your white selection down to a few that you're really loving, to look at those whites and consider what undertones are within those white colors because you might notice when you look at that that the color one of the colors you love has a pink undertone and that might be perfect for what you're wanting but if you don't want a pink undertone then that's not going to be the right option for you here's some things to know about choosing a pink color this is a chip from your local paint store and today most people think they can walk into those paint stores and they see that big exciting wall of color and they think wow, this is going to be easy. Every color is here. And they walk over to that big Rolodex of colors and they grab that one and here it is. And they go home, they spend a bunch of money, time and labor, either by themselves or they hire it out. And then all of a sudden, it's not the color they thought it was. You actually can ask your local store to have that chip and make what's called the drawdown. It's just a big chip. They take some of the paint out of the can, they put it on the board, you get to take it home dry, dry and put it next to the house and see if this, and we're talking about off-whites, if this color goes with that color. Now you get to see it in light. Yep. You get to see it in natural light. You get to see it on a cloudy day. If you have the time and, and your weather's changing enough, it's nice to see it in the sunlight mm -hmm. and on a cloudy day. And then you can see if there's some undertones because the, the bright light's gonna bring out some color and the soft light will bring out others. Yes. And after you've done that, now you can verify that that's the color you really want. And now we can buy the rest of the paint and put the labor in motion. Another thing you can do is you can take the gallon and actually test some of that color on your wall or your trim and see, do I like this when it's actually on my wall? So that's another great way to make sure that you yes. love the color before you get the painter out there, or you get up there on the ladder yourself and start going for it. You wanna make sure you absolutely love that white. So now that we've given you a lot of information about how to narrow down your white selections, we're going to give you some ideas about which whites to choose. So these are some of the most popular Sherwin-Williams and Benjamin Moore white colors. So starting with Sherwin, extra white and pure white are some of the closest whites that you'll get to an actual basic white. So actually behind us, the white that you see in this greenhouse that we're in today is extra white. Um, another color that's a great color is alabaster. That looks really nice with blacks or greens and it's 
more of a creamy white color. Um, Snowbound I actually used in my entire house because I love white, so I used it on my kitchen cabinets, I used it on my walls, I used it on my ceilings, um, and that's a great white color with a bit of a blue or cool right. undertone. Mm -hmm. And for Benjamin Moore, four favorites are Chantilly Lace, uh, we've used that quite often and even in our office today and it's toned down a lot of our, our accent colors, very easy on the eyes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Simply White has been great for ceilings and trim. White Dove has been a standard for trim, ceilings, um, front doors. Cloud White has also been a great standard that we hear over and over again. It's been a great staple for a nice soft white. So there you go. Have fun picking your white color. If you have any questions, let us know below. And thank you for joining us for our second episode of Paint Talk. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.